I just bought these this weekend and I'm so excited. Of course I needed some sort of orange shoe to match orange theory. It's 4.15, just got to my new orange theory studio. Welcome or welcome back to one of my videos. Welcome to a work week in my life. Full time orange theory fitness coach work week in my life because I quit my office job. So now I'm only a coach and I am so excited. It's Monday, March 13th and I have five classes to coach today. Three this morning at this studio. Then I get to go home, take a nap and then I have two to coach at another studio. So it's gonna be a good day. I got here a little early because I'm just moving in slow motion today and I didn't want to get here late but Justin had a basketball game last night at 8 o'clock so it was already kind of a late night but yesterday morning I coached and when I got home I was just so tired so I ended up taking a nap so then when it was time to actually go to bed I wasn't that tired so I stayed up pretty late and yeah so now I'm running on about four hours of sleep but I got some coffee hoping it wakes me up. I'm just gonna sit in my car for a little bit longer before I go inside and go over our little mind body app to see who all is taking my classes this morning. And when I go inside, I'll turn on all the lights, go over the template one more time, go over the VBA, make sure I know everything I'm gonna say for the demo. And yeah, hopefully it's gonna be a good week. I know it's gonna be a good week. Subscribe if you aren't already. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Welcome to the studio. I'm just turning on all the roller tablets and now checking batteries, make sure they're all charged. Now I'm just putting batteries in the mic pack and I keep my mic puff in this little thing. So I'll just put it on the mic, go, test it. Check, 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 check. I just finished coaching, so now I'm gonna run into Trader Joe's. Now time for a pretty random haul. I got more eucalyptus for my shower. It smells so good. I've never had these before, but I saw them and they sounded delicious. Almond butter filled peanut butter nuggets, or peanut nuggets. I've had the nuggets before, obviously, with regular peanut butter, so I'm excited to try those. This is mainly what I went there for. Two boxes of these ice cream sandwiches. Justin and I love them, but we live so far away from Trader Joe's that I just never go, and I haven't been taking cycle bar classes, and that used to be my excuse to go. So yeah, I had to stock up on those. Also had to stock up on this brown sugar oat milk creamer. So freaking delicious. So I got two of them. Just got some of these hard boiled eggs because my Publix doesn't have them right now. Then I got a bunch of random snacks. I saw these in line. They are just slightly coated dark chocolate almonds and I'm really excited because chocolate covered almonds at Publix have so much chocolate on them that it's hard to enjoy. So these are slightly covered and I'm very excited about them. Then I got some protein bars because I need to do a stock up up on Misfits, but until then, I have these or my Quest ones. I got Salty Peanut, I got two of those, Chocolate Dough, and Caramel Cashew. And then, last but not least, I just got some of the Chomps, little turkey and beef sticks, just to have as a little snack. It's 9.41 now, I only coached three classes this morning, five o'clock, 6.15, and 7.30, and then someone else was coming in to coach the 8.45, so I got to leave. I didn't even have to stay and wipe things down, which was nice. But now that I'm back, I'm gonna put all this stuff away, probably have a snack, and then take a nap, because I have to coach two more classes tonight at a different studio at 4.30 and 5.45, so. Gonna take a nap. I feel like my eyes are literally red just because I'm tired. I'm running off of hardly any sleep and I'm definitely gonna hit a crash. So, need a nap. I'm setting an alarm for one o'clock just in case I end up sleeping for a long time and we'll see how tired I am once I wake up from that. Put do not disturb on. Got the babies in here with me and good night. Good morning. Let me reopen these curtains here. Let some daylight come in. It is. 118. Just woke up from my nap. I probably could have slept a little longer and I thought about setting another alarm. I actually did set another alarm for 2.30, but I don't want to oversleep because I'm grateful I get to sleep in tomorrow. So I just needed a little, just needed a little nap 
to re-energize myself. I made a mess of these blankets. But while I was sleeping, I got a package in the mail from Poshmark. I ordered my coach's stuff a very long time ago and they still haven't came in. There's like a whole thing with things on back order. So I had to order my stuff on, or I had to order some stuff on Poshmark, just some stuff that I could find. And it just came in the mail. So I'm gonna open it and maybe try it on and see if it fits. I ordered one shirt and one little quarter zip jacket. This is the jacket I ordered. It just says OTF coach. It kind of looks like they cut the bottom. And I remember looking at it in the picture and being like, uh. So it's probably gonna be cropped. Um, but we'll have to see. If it wasn't cropped, it would literally be perfect. So let's see how the shirt looks. I should have really looked at the pictures, but honestly, the first one that I saw that was my size, I immediately bought it just because it's very hard to find my size in coach's gear. I feel like everything is an extra small or small. And this one is perfect. It just says coach, literally perfect. And it has this splat on the back. I am think I'm about to wash this so I can wear it tonight because it is super cute and I'm obsessed. I don't think I have enough stuff to wash, which is a good problem to have, but I really want to wear these. I'm kind of bummed about this jacket. Like, why did they crop it? I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine once I put it on. Maybe I'll try it on. Currently making some teriyaki chicken and some jasmine rice for lunch, a late lunch. I also did decide to wash my coach's shirt, so now I'll be able to wear it tonight. I also checked my body to see who was in my class tonight, and my sister signed up for my 5.45 or my 4.30 class, one of my classes, so I'm very excited. I think the 4.30 one, which is good because the 5.45 is a 3G and I'm still trying to get used to 3Gs, so I'm glad she's coming to 4.30. I also got a text from Justin's cousin, Melanie, and she signed up for a class tomorrow. It's her first class, so I'll get to see her in the afternoon and hopefully she signs up. She's been talking about wanting to try it out and I've been trying to talk her into coming and I'm so glad she finally is. So gonna be a very good week I am sad because Justin is out of town this week he is working at his parents beach house to get ready for our wedding that we're having in literally three months everyone keeps asking me how long are you getting married and I'm keep saying five months because it was just five months at the time when we got engaged but it's literally March so March April May June Three months, we're getting married. <laughs> That's a little crazy. Just put some makeup on and got ready for my 4.30 class. I'm about to leave the house, but I'm trying on the new coaches stuff I ordered and I'm obsessed. I really wish this wasn't cropped though. It would be literally perfect if it wasn't cropped, but I'll still probably wear it. Since it says coach, I just really wish it wasn't cropped, but I'll still get what you said of it. So now I'm gonna go try on the other one because I think it's dry. This is the other one. Equally as obsessed with it. I am so happy I got it and I found it. Just got to my other studio. Just got my demo station set up, went over the VBA. Now I'm gonna check rear batteries and turn on the rowers and stuff. It is 7.42. I just got home from Orange Theory, eating some leftover teriyaki chicken and rice from lunch and drinking apple juice. I've really been into apple juice recently, very random in this cup that my aunt got me says girlfriend Beyonce super cute my classes went pretty good I felt like my 430 class didn't go that great because that was my first 2g of the day and the way the class was you're queuing the weight floor and the treadmills at a different time almost so it just it was a lot and I felt like I was really just creating a whole mess but my sister who took my class said I did fine and she thought I was very motivating I only confused her at one point when it was like the rowers were going directly into an all out into a 30 second all out for their finisher and I just should have been more clear. But she said she had a lot more energy than she thought she had originally and she doesn't know if it was because of me or how the treadmill blocks were, but she said I did good. So hopefully she's not just saying, I don't think she is. But yeah, 
Usually I would still be coaching right now because they used to have a seven o'clock class at the studio that I would coach, but there were only like six people who would always sign up for it. So they cut it out for March. So that is why I'm home pretty early. I randomly have a lot of energy though. I thought about going to Planet Fitness. I should have brought a sports bra or like a change of clothes with me and I would have just gone right after coaching. I really want to do the treadmill block that I just did. Even though it looks really hard, I just really want to do it. But usually Monday is the day I open at one studio and close the other. I'm so tired and I walk so much. So I use this as my rest day from the gym. I literally walked almost 16,000 steps today just coaching. I'm not going to work out. I might do some yoga or just stretching because when I do the flexibility block with the members, my body is so tight. Even just showing them how to do a stretch, I'm like, I'm in pain. Like I need to stretch more. So I'll probably just stretch and find a new book to read because I'm back on my reading grind, thank goodness. And I just need to find something else to read. I'm honestly really sad that Justin's not here. I just feel like it's going to be really lonely, but I have the babies, the dogs, and we'll just have a very chill night. Here's my morning lineup. Two hard boiled eggs for breakfast, coffee with that brown sugar oat milk creamer, my planner, and then my laptop. It is 9.17 and for someone who was so exhausted yesterday, I could not sleep at all last night. I was fully ready to go to sleep at 10.30 and I tried and I couldn't. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put on a movie. I put on Age of Adeline because I feel like I always see it everywhere and I just have never seen it. So I wanted to watch it, didn't care for it. <laughs> I didn't like it. After that, I just could not go to sleep. So I was up until midnight. Like I said, it's nine now and I woke up because of the dogs barking literally so loud because I don't know why they were barking. But instead of slowly waking up when my body was ready, I was immediately awake because of their barking. So I'm a little tired. The plan of attack is I'm gonna sit here, enjoy my breakfast, go through my planner, start planning the week. I like getting my playlist ready ahead of time. That way, day of, I'm not stressing about it. I'm gonna look over the template, I'm gonna start editing this video, and then I wanna go to Planet Fitness and do at least the treadmill block from either yesterday or today. The treadmill block for today is really long because it is dry try prep, because dry try is coming up. I'll probably try and do the one yesterday with today's floor block because today's floor block looks really fun. So that is the plan. The house is a mess also, so I need to start cleaning that. Happy Tuesday vlog. Back from the gym, it is 12.22. I feel so good. That template is definitely challenging, but doable, and it is so much fun, and I just feel incredible. I'm proud of myself for maintaining the speeds I set for myself because the pushes are pretty long today, and I set a speed, and I was able to maintain it the entire time. I did cheat myself on the final 60 all out. Instead of trying to jog or go my fastest speed, I just decided to power walk, and so I bumped up the incline, but I'm very proud of myself for completing it, and then I did some of the weight floor stuff just in a corner somewhere with some dumbbells and a little mat and I feel incredible. It's so nice being back in Planet Fitness. I got to see my old manager friend and he asked me what's been new and I just was telling him about Orange Theory and he is so sweet. Then I went to Publix because of course when you go to Trader Joe's you still have to go to the grocery store after and since we live so close to the grocery store whenever I'm craving something I can just go which I'm very grateful for and today I'm craving a salad or lately I've been craving a salad. So I just got some lettuce, some croutons, some little shredded carrots. I have cheese in the fridge. Got some chicken for it. Already cooked, I think. Oh no. Either have to do it in the oven or on a skillet, which is fine, but this should be nice and quick. I got some tomatoes and a little bottle of ranch because I have been craving ranch. And then I have the hard boiled eggs in the fridge that I might just throw on top with the cheese. And then my kombuchas were buy one, get one free still. So I got four of my favorite strawberry. I keep changing my favorite flavors, but right now it is definitely strawberry. So I'm gonna crack one of these open, start preparing my lunch. I need to shower. I'm actually really sweaty from today's workout, so I honestly need to wash my hair, but I think I plan on taking an Orange Theory class tomorrow, like actually going to Orange Theory because, or when is St. Patrick's Day? Because that's the day that I'm definitely going because the template looks pretty tricky. Okay, that's Friday. So we'll see how my hair is. I might wash it tonight and then I'll just have to wash it again on Friday. I don't know, trying to get a hair wash schedule with your workout schedule is pretty tricky. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's make some salad for lunch. Just break them 
into smaller pieces. Last but not least, just add some tomatoes, mix it up, and we got a big salad with a bunch of stuff in it. You can't even see the lettuce right now. And then I'll just put some ranch on it as I go. It is now 2.40. I'm putting on some makeup, and then I think I'm going to leave my house around 3 just to get to the studio a little early because we have a lot of intros tonight. And I'm really excited about it, but I want to make sure I have all my stuff set up before the intros come in and I can give my full attention to them and give them a rundown at the studio. Justin's cousin Melanie is taking my class tonight at 5.45 and she got her brother's girlfriend Madison to take it with her and I am super excited for them. I'm honestly getting a little nervous though just because I want to be such a good coach for them, you know, so hopefully I do good. Since they're coming to my 5.45, I kind of have 4.30 to get the words I want to say out of my mouth, you know. I'm going to use some CoverGirl BB cream using this Fit Me concealer that I don't think I love. I definitely like my other concealer better, the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. I got this in an Ipsy bag, I think, and I really like it. It's definitely full coverage, and this really isn't. But I just got this at Publix the other day and I wanted to try it out. And as always, this NYX Control Freak Clear Eyebrow Gel I just got off of Amazon just to make my eyebrows look nicer. <laughs> Except I tried shaping my eyebrows and I really messed this one up. So, I mean, luckily it'll grow back. But I'm just going to curl my lashes and use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I put mascara on my top lashes and my bottom lashes, but I'm going to use wet eyeliner on my waterline. So I'll just do my top lashes first. And the wet eyeliner I'm going to use is this NYX eyeliner pencil I just got off of Amazon. And I'm just going to do a little on my waterline. Basic TikTok trend that I, of course, started following. Then I'll pop some mascara on my bottom lashes lips another tiktok trend the sleeping mask i love this stuff it feels so good and it looks so good it literally looks so shiny and just makes your lips so freaking soft then for my hair i obviously never washed it in my shower so i'm just gonna do a high pony could do a slick back pony but i think i'll do a high pony hope there's no bumps Just so there's not that many flyaways, just gonna do a little bit of hair gel. I don't want my hair to be crunchy, but since it is kind of a slick back high pony, make sure we don't have flyaways. Then I will just touch up on deodorant and we'll be good to go. I'll probably pack a protein bar with me and I need to fill up a water bottle, but then I should be ready to go. I'll probably just go ahead and leave. Yeah, it's 2.50. So I'll probably just leave. If anything, I can just sit in my car and wait until it's time for me to get there. But sometimes traffic in the afternoon getting to the studio is pretty bad. So. Good morning vlog. Happy Wednesday. It is 8.40 now. I woke up at 8.30. Feeling really good because my body just woke me up when it was ready to get up. Look at the sun coming in. I love it. And when I woke up, Miley and Jack were both cuddling with me and it was so freaking cute. I do have a little complaint about them sleeping in the bed with me since Justin's not here. Sometimes they do sleep in the bed with us, but when Justin's not here, they like to literally hog and sleep in his spot. So I was up pretty late just because I couldn't get comfortable because the dogs were literally hogging the bed. I had no room and yeah, obviously I could have moved them, but they looked very cute and cozy, so I didn't. I still slept so good when I woke up this morning. I was leaning into Jack and Miley was laying her head on me. It was the most precious thing ever. My plan is to take the 10 o'clock Orange Theory class because at one of the studios I coach at, they're having a deep clean today, so I have to go to that. And I figured if I'm going to the deep clean, I might as well take a class, you know? So after the deep clean, which should only take like an hour and a half usually, after the deep clean, that studio is right beside a clean juice, so I'll get an acai bowl or something. A little, a little treat for my drive, you know. My legs honestly feel really sore from yesterday, so I thought about taking a little rest day, but I'm trying to get my body back into the habit of working out every day because 
that's literally what I used to do. So here's my outfit for Orange Theory. Don't mind the mess behind me. Just wearing this jacket because it's kind of cold outside. And then I'm just wearing a tank top. I don't know where I got it from, but it's some sort of yoga tank top. And then Gymshark hat. Leggings are colorful koala of Amazon, of course. There's definitely like lint on them. Okay, can you even see that? But they're zebra print and they're super cute. And then, of course, my on cloud, Cloudflyer 9s. I really want to wear my hokas because I still haven't ran in them yet. But since I am staying for the deep clean, I don't want my hokas to get dirty. So. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Can I take a picture? Just got home from Orange Theory and the deep clean. It is now 150. I didn't get an acai bowl, but I did get some lunch. While we were doing the deep clean, a member actually came, brought us a gift card to Kava, and she brought us crumble, crumble cookies with a card to just say thank you. It was so freaking sweet. The members are seriously just the best. So this is actually my first time trying Kava, and I love it. I ate a little bit at the studio, but since I have to coach at four, or I have to be at the studio at four, I wanted plenty of time to come home, shower, and just relax until I have to go coach. But I got a greens and grains bowl with romaine lettuce, brown rice, chicken, hummus, tomato and cucumber, fire roasted corn, crumbled pet feta, salt brined pickles, avocado, and pita crisps. And then my manager, she was doing the order and she saw that I didn't get pita, pita bread. So she got some on the side for me and I already ate it. But it is so good. Kava is definitely my new favorite thing. It is so freaking delicious. So I'm just gonna finish up eating this and then shower and just relax until my class tonight. Class this morning, it, or class today, is very challenging but doable. It is strength focused, so there's inclines on the treadmills and I always struggle with inclines on the treadmills only because I just wanna give up on myself all the time. But I pushed through, I set my speeds at the first block and I was able to maintain them throughout the entire 23 minute treadmill block and I'm very proud of myself. My legs are definitely tired today. I almost power walked today. I mean, power walking is still really, really hard, but since I've been doing a lot of running, I wanted to just take a power walking day, but one of the sales associates who work at that studio, she took class with me and she was on the treadmill beside me and she we just kind of pushed each other so that was very nice just put some makeup on and did a little slick back ponytail situation to go coach here's my outfit of the day the shirt isn't very flattering i think it's because it's a little too big and i usually just don't like gray shirts but i wanted to switch it up since i wore that jacket yesterday and i should be getting a tank top tonight that i ordered from a previous coach just got to the studio got set up got my demonstration done i think i'm about to eat this protein bar because i am a tiny bit hungry and i just put the times on the template for tomorrow that way i don't have to do that tonight and yeah hopefully gonna have a good class change, change, change. it is 7 53 just got home from coaching my classes went pretty good i only coached two classes so the first one went okay of course i was just getting a feel for how i need to forecast things so my second class went better i also got my new coach's tank top and i'm so excited about it i was scared it wasn't gonna fit but it fits i just have to see if i'm comfortable wearing a tank top because i'll feel pretty exposed because that's the back of it but it should be good for dinner just eating my leftover kava and i'm going to sit here and put in my schedule for april in my planner because just got a message from one of my managers that my schedule for one studio is ready for April. So just gonna pull my stuff in. That way I already have it and I can see what days I'm working. And then once my schedule for my other studio comes available, I can add that to my planner.
it is now Thursday vlog. It is 11.17 to be exact. I just got home from the gym. I'm gonna make my salad again just for some lunch. The same salad I made the other day because it was delicious. The morning has been kind of busy. I was putting in my schedule for Orange Theory last night and I realized there were a couple days I was scheduled for the same exact time at two different studios. So I was trying to figure that out. And then this morning, one of my coworkers asked if I could switch shifts with her because she had asked for a day off and then never got it so we were trying to figure out what day she needed off and what shift I can shift for her or switch for her but yeah hopefully we get it figured out soon I'm sure it's so frustrating for the managers to have to talk to each other to figure out my schedule instead of just putting me on one but I really like switching between both studios so hopefully I can do it but I did tell them if it becomes too much I'll just stick to one but I like getting plenty of hours and seeing new people and at the gym today I practiced a little bit of my template for my Saturday class I'm coaching a 90 minute class for the first time so I just did the treadmill part and the weight floor stuff just in a corner with a pair of dumbbells per usual and I'm pretty excited about it it's endurance focused today's template is power and I love a power day but it's just hard to do that at Planet Fitness because they don't have the smart touch button so you literally have to hold down the button to get it to go fast and same thing to get it to go slow and so you're sprinting trying to hold down the button and it's just a whole thing so I just did my endurance template for Saturday after I make lunch I'm gonna shower and then I need to pick a playlist for tonight or for this weekend I think I have the playlist I'm gonna use tonight but I have to pick a playlist for tomorrow and Saturday because I'm coaching both days. Cleaning up the house a little bit because I think Justin is coming home today and I'm really excited. It's only been a few days away from each other, but I'm so used to seeing him every day that I honestly miss him. So, glad he's coming home. I seriously left the house a mess, so I'm just cleaning it up. And yeah, washing my sheets now. And it's just going to be a little productive day until I go coach. So beautiful. Just got to Orange Theory. It is now Friday. I don't think I vlogged anything yesterday, but I did coach two classes last night and they went okay. Something's wrong with the iPad here, so we're having to use Bluetooth off of our phone. And anytime you walk underneath the speaker while talking or while the mic is on, it squeaks. And in my first class, it squeaked a couple times and it scared me and it scared a bunch of other people and it just kind of threw me off. But then the second class, it didn't squeak at all and it went fine. Now I'm here to take class because today's template looks crazy st patrick's day theme so it's called luck of the draw and it's a tornado style lots of switches different blocks for everyone and i'm a little nervous so i'm gonna take class now to hopefully get the visual aspect of it and can figure it out because looking at the template and even looking at the video that they send out explaining it i'm still very very confused so hopefully seeing it in person i can make sense of it and the manager of the studio is actually coaching it and she's still a new coach and she's pretty nervous so i'm here to hype her up and support her and stuff so today i'll actually get my acai bowl that i wanted at the beginning of the week and it will be very yummy i already know it Here's my smoothie bowl. I am so excited. I haven't tried this one yet, but I think there's kale, bananas, honey, and granola, and it is about to be so delicious. It's a little melted because I just drove home with it, but also exciting news. I got another package from Poshmark. I ordered more coaches stuff because I'm literally just looking on Poshmark and Mercari and this Facebook group I'm in to see anything that's in my size, I'm gonna get it because I did place an order with the actual coach's website, but everything's on back order, so I just wanna stock up on stuff. I'm very excited about this. I hope it fits because it's a large and all my other stuff is an extra large, but the gray shirt that I wore yesterday and the day before, I think, that just says coach, that's an extra large and I think it fits a little big. So I'm hoping a large will be good, but I am so excited about this. I saw somebody wear this and I knew I needed it. So once I saw it on Mercari, I knew I had to get it. So I'm about to eat my smoothie bowl. It looks like it's about to rain, so I need to cut the grass really quick before it rains because our yard holds so much water every time it rains, so I wanna cut it before, that way it's nice and short. And then I'm gonna shower, do laundry. I need to wash all my stuff because I've been coaching and working out all day, so I'm running out of things to wear and I have to coach today at four. So, gonna do some laundry, shower, eat my smoothie bowl, and just prepare for my class. I feel a lot better about it now that I saw it in person, and one of my coaching friends, she was in the class with me, so she 
after class broke it down for me even more and showed me how to read the template. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm just gonna be confident and tell myself I know exactly what I need to say and all that. And yeah. I am obsessed with this jacket. I feel so cool. I'm not even gonna lie, I feel so cool. Hopefully tonight I'm gonna have a really good class because I feel really good. It is now nine o'clock. I've just been in bed going over my templates for tomorrow because I'm coaching three classes tomorrow at 7.30, 8.45, and 10 o'clock in the morning. And all three of my classes are different. The first one is just a regular 60 minute class. Second one is a lift 45 class. And then my third one is my first ever 90 minute class. And it's gonna be a 3G. And I'm just getting a little nervous about it because I just hope everyone who comes has a good time. I hope I bring the energy. And we've been creating a lot of hype around it as we should, but. But I'm just getting a little nervous that I'm not gonna do good. But I try to be confident and go in knowing I'm gonna have a good class and everyone is gonna have fun and have a great workout. I just know that some Orange Theory coaches are coming to take it and I'm really excited about that because then they could also give me feedback on how I coach, but also it just makes me nervous. Like I just always get nervous before my classes anyway because I am a new coach, but knowing that coaches will be in my class just makes me a little more nervous anyway it is now friday i coach tomorrow but i'm off sunday i don't really know what my schedule is for next week but i will vlog next week so hopefully you guys enjoyed this work week in my life as an orange theory fitness coach if you did be sure you give it a thumbs up and you're subscribed down below thank you so much for watching